Welcome back to Films Retold. Today we're going to be theorizing about who really is Helly R from the mind-bending TV show Severance. Severance was released on Apple TV Plus and is set to air nine episodes, five of which have already been released. Now if you haven't seen the first five episodes of the series yet, please be aware there will be spoilers in this video. Now let's get into it. The first time we meet Helly, she's unconscious, lying on the conference room table, and is woken up by Mark, who's trying to ask her questions on a survey. Helly is apprehensive at first, but eventually does answer the survey, getting a perfect score. She eventually tries to leave the building, but as she goes through the door to the stairwell, she's returned right back into the building, meaning her Audi version of her wants her to be there. Episode 2 gives us Audi Helly's perspective of the situation. Before getting the severance procedure, we're shown Helly walking with Milchek, but they stop to admire a depiction of Keir Egan's face. Milchik then says, did you know that he used to drink three raw eggs and milk each morning? To which Helly replies, I've heard. Now this sort of implies that Helly might have some sort of relation to the Egan family. Now the reason I say this is because how common is it really for a worker to know the favorite breakfast of the CEO of their company that they work for? It's just not very common. The reason why I think Milchek knows this information is because he's more like a, of a company man. I don't believe that he's an Egan himself, but I do believe that he's spent a lot of time studying the Egan family, so he knows this information. Whereas Helly is shown to us as being a new employee. I think it's much more common for like a person's favorite breakfast to be passed down by like a parent or a grandparent, you know, when they're discussing about their ancestors. Next up, we have the stairwell scene where Helly is trying to leave the building because she doesn't want to be there. Milchik tells Helly that it was like a miracle when he found out she was coming there, and he tells her that it's amazing what she's doing. Now, this is another big hint at Helly possibly being someone of influence inside the company, because why would it be amazing that she's there? Or why w would it be amazing that she's going through with the Severance Project? Because it's not like she's the first. We have Mark, we have all the other Severed employees, so this points to her being someone of influence, or possibly even a Negan. If I was the head of a company and I want to show the world that the severance program was safe, the best way to do that would be to do the severance on myself, because we know the severance program is politically frowned upon. Another hint that we get that Helly might be, you know, a higher up inside a Lumen is the elevator scene. Milchek greets Helly by saying, hey old timer. This could imply that Helly might have been working at the company already, or is perhaps related to one of the founding members of the company. Then we have the scene when they're in the perpetuity wing. Helly seems to gravitate to Myrtle Egan's statue, who bears a similar look and style to Helly. Both characters have shoulder length hair, which was mentioned by Milchek when they were passing the ball around. Next up, we have the fact that Audi Helly still will not let any Helly leave because she does doesn't believe that she's a human. Now to me, like if you were gonna have your fingers chopped off, probably wouldn't leave unless there's some sort of incentive to stay, which tells me that Helly is probably a higher up in the company and knows that she's going to be safe. I mean, Helly even tries to kill herself, effectively killing her Audi as well, yet she still returns to work. So if Helly's not an Egan trying to show the world that Severance is safe and humane, then she's extremely pro-Severance. So I think there's really only two options for who Helly R is on the outside. One option is either she's a high up in government or she's an Egan. This led me to check out some of the cast that we haven't seen in the show yet. One of the characters that we haven't really seen much of yet is Ethan Flowers' character, Angelo Arteta. He plays the senator that's pro-severance, and that got me thinking that maybe Helly is married to Angelo Arteta. However, a quick look over at IMDb shows Nora Daryl's character, Gabby Arteta, is married to Angelo. And if you don't know who Gabby Arteta is, she was the pregnant woman inside the cabin with Mark's sister. This really only leaves one option for Helly since she's not related to anybody in government and that is that she must be an Egan. Now, I could be completely wrong about all of this, but I just feel like the writers have been sending us little clues here and there to show us that Helly is, you know, someone high up in the company, or an Egan herself. So what do you think? Is Helly an Egan, or is she a high up in the government? Drop me a comment. Let me know what your theories are. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed my theory. Um, I'm probably going to make a couple more of these videos because I'm really enjoying the show itself and um, just theorizing. It's been a long time since I had a show like this, where it really got me thinking. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks again.